you just learn so much about programming in one day or in a month and you're hoping that you can get everything all under your belt and then all of a sudden you realize Oh, I actually don't remember a lot of the logics that I've just learned yesterday or I've just learned last week. That's because there are something that you're doing it wrong. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer living in New York City and in this channel you're gonna learn so much about how to learn to code, web development, and all things related to tech. So mistake number one is that you are focusing too much about learning the syntax and memorizing the syntax for a specific language. Instead, you should learn about the concepts and ideas. For example, when you're learning JavaScript and learning the variables in JavaScript, don't just think about how do you declare JavaScript variables in syntax like const, let, or va. Think about why there are different ways to declare variables in JavaScript and also what are the differences between these different ways to declare variables. Mistake number two is following tutorials after tutorials instead of practice with project. A lot of people actually keep watching tutorials after another after another but then at the end of the day they realize that they didn't really learn much instead of watching one tutorial after another is to set some time to watch only one tutorial and stop and really try to rebuild the projects or think about a project ideas that you can build the project with what you just learned and one of the reasons why you have to build projects to help you to learn is that once you start building projects it creates this like muscle memory in programming and learning to program to like actually remember things let me give you an example if you are just moving to a new house and you got a new address the chances of you being able to remember the address that you just moved to the new place is very low the more that you are sharing your address to your friends your family the more that you're going to remember that. So it's very similar to programming. When you're building more projects and over and over and over, doing the same thing in a repetition, you are going to naturally remember a lot of the things. Mistake number three is don't memorize the answers to your problem. Instead, learn to how to Google and find the right questions to get to your answers. There is a misconception for learners to think that they need to memorize the solution or memorize the way to solve the problem. This is not a sustainable method to be able to really learn. So what you should really do is actually trying to learn to ask the right question on Google to find the right answers to your problem. One of the great tips that I'll give you is when it comes to a problem that you get stuck and you find answers on the internet, try to bookmark those websites because um, the more that you getting back to the same problem and you're reading through more documentations, they're gonna help you. The more that you're gonna collect all these informations and actually being able to grasp that knowledge. Hey yo, if you're getting value from this video make sure to give me a thumbs up share this video with someone else mistake number four is just to learn once and forget about it so one of the things that I really really highly recommend is to learn every day to practice every day something that I preach to you is consistency is the key learning programming it's like learning a foreign language you need to use it every day when it comes to coming up with a study plan what i do recommend is looking into your daily routine and see if there's a way to incorporate studying into your daily routine so it becomes a consistent habit so what did we learn so far well you cannot memorizing everything. That's not ideal and that's not sustainable. You cannot remember everything in your brain because programming is very broad, is very wide. It's really hard to remember everything and you shouldn't have to remember everything. 
incorporated all those principles that I talked about previously, you will find yourself studying and learning more effectively in your journey. And here is a video that I mentioned a few ways that you can take notes when you're learning programming. This is actually a great video for you to learn and take notes more effectively. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe and adios.